leaves from this making it in I feel it deep within, it's just beneath the skin I must confess that I feel like a monster I hate what I've become, the nightmare's just begun I must confess that I feel like a monster I, I feel like a monster I, I feel like a monster I keep it under lock and key I keep it caged but I can't control it Cause if I let him out Tell me I'll break me down Why won't somebody come and save me from this Making it in I feel it deep within It's just beneath the skin I must confess that I feel like a monster I hate what I've become The nightmare's just begun I must confess that I feel like a monster Monster by Skillet. Uh, one of the bands that I'll probably keep playing. Um, you know, the music the music selections and stuff like that. Were kind of, well, I'm kind of leaning away towards uh, leaning away towards mainstream and going towards, uh, you know, downright wholesome bands. Skillet is mainstream, but they're one of the, the true bands out there that actually, you know, they're out. Yeah, you know, they get paid a lot of money. But... They give a lot back. They're really into their community and really into their faith and stuff like that. And you don't see that very often anymore. Um, I was watching actually a little section a little bit ago. Um, you know, Valentine's Day is another holiday for us. Um, yeah, most of the kids go to school. Most everybody goes to work. But somebody's got plans for their loved ones at some point in time between now and this weekend. And, uh, if, if, you know, if they didn't do anything last weekend, which it was kind of dreary around here. So, eh, maybe not a lot got done, but, you know, we have our religions, our customs and stuff that we, that we practice, you know, it's, it's countrywide, you know, and, you know, people talking about Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, you know, and, and stuff like this. Yes, not everybody celebrates Christmas, but 80% of America does. I mean, even different religions, you know, have adopted the the Christmas spirit. And yes, the main point of Christmas is Christ always, as well as, but you got these other religions that will adapt the holiday more than, than anything else, you know, because of those days out of school, those days off of work, you know, being able to get, spend some good quality time with your family, families ended up traveling all over the place and, you know, this is, uh, you know, not, it's, I don't think it should be made where everybody is forced to say Merry Christmas. But I think, you know, with respect to the United States and how we conduct our, our holidays, and that's all of them from Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Fourth of July, Thanksgiving, Christmas, I mean, and everything in between, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, you know, we, we celebrate these things in the way that we only do. Because that's how we do it. You know, Germany's Christmas is fucking beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, you know, it's Santa Claus stuff everywhere. Actually, like, you know, it's the old it's the old land. You know, Europe's the old land. They've been celebrating this stuff way, way longer than this country's even been thought of. 
you know, and to see some of the old timey Christmas and stuff that I got to see while I was in Germany was just, you know, it was epic, just, just epic. You know, I think that's one thing about being a veteran, you know, that some of us don't really think about is the places that we did get to go, even if they were stateside, there was something special about each place that you went to. You know, Germany for me was the kicker of my career. It was at the beginning. It was a lot of fun to, to travel Europe up and down, see all over Germany, train with some really great badass fucking soldiers, you know, deploy and been able to come home and, and, and make a lifelong brotherhood and sisterhood with some of those with some of those people and still keep up with them today. You know, who's who's getting married, who's having kids. Uh I know two handfuls of my battles that were the same rank as me whenever I was in already hit E seven. So congratulations to all of them over this past year. You know, a lot of a lot of life changing moments in there, but I think I think it should be all right to where we say Merry Christmas and people don't get offended. This is the United States, just saying. And uh <clears throat> you know, that's because people like I said, people are gonna adapt to it anyway. Because they want the, that free time off and stuff, regardless if they believe in what it's for or not. So, we shall see. We shall see. Um, so, what would you do if you walked into a house and a mannequin was standing beside your door? You know, you walk in, first glance you think somebody's standing there. Well, I just shared a little comedian thing on my page. Um, if you want to look at it, it's... it's uh, People walking into rooms with mannequins standing there, getting in the back of cars, waking up, getting out of bed, and it scares the shit out of them. But you know, it's uh, eh, you know, it's it's something funny. It's not something to play with radio because there's really not a lot of words to it. But check that out. I think something else I was just looking at a few minutes ago. It's damn slipped my mind. So Miss Jade and uh, and the ghost is taking the mornings off, which uh, hopefully they have a. Great morning with their loved ones. Uh, I know if my my old lady was here, I definitely would not be up right now. <laughs> Just saying, you know, gotta be, gotta keep it honest and gotta keep it real. You know, uh, would probably not be up right now, especially seeing how it's Valentine's Day. Or maybe I'll be up, just not. Yeah, <laughs> we won't go too far. I don't want to make her blush too hard. So, yeah, man, we really stoked about uh, DG Radio, man. Uh, you know, we got two more days, and uh, we got, uh... <laughs> I hear you, Ron. I got you. Um, really excited about DG Radio, man. I- I'm really stoked about that. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully all y'all uh, avid listeners out there, um, hopefully y'all, uh, y'all tune in. And if you're living in the area like Big Beeson and all that shit is, uh... <laughs> Yeah, trying, man, trying. <laughs> but uh, you know, hopefully y'all y'all will tune in. Uh, we will be live streaming too. So uh, if you're not able to see us in person, you will be able to see us, uh, you know, face to face through Facebook and and other social media platforms as well. Uh, we're not just gonna hit one. We're gonna try to hit two or three at the same time. Um, I know we'll be on Facebook Live. We'll be on Instagram Live. Um, cause part of this is going to involve hashtag motivating America, which, you know, I have to say my managers helped me out with a bunch. Uh, my t-shirt, uh, maker and sticker maker, um, has done some badass work. We get to pick that up on Wednesday and, uh, start, start motivating some people up, man. Going to hit the streets and go around downtown and stuff and talk to people and see if we can't get some good motivational stuff out of them and uh, go stick some stickers up. And uh, if you run into us, you know, stop us and give us one of those motivational stories that we want to hear. Uh, tell us what gets you up in your day. All right, here's a little song request from Ron C. A little bit of Buck Cherry. <laughs>
call for the curious girl Cause she's waiting, she's been waiting A job in line for the fiendin' man Cause he wants one You know, you know you got to Can you feel it, can you feel it tonight? Are you alone? Tell me how you're getting out bit of buck cherry light it up big ryan c um so i don't know quite know yet but i know uh i know that uh miss lady liberty uh she's got her own little uh new site up now which is uh lady liberty unplugged.com i believe um so hopefully here in the future whenever she comes back to uh tackle her show which you know she's since she's been busy uh yes it's lady uh liberty unplugged.com um <laughs> you can uh go to liberty unplugged.com and check out uh check out her news stories and stuff like that and hopefully we get a hopefully she'll be back here pretty soon to tackle up her show man and and bring some of this stuff uh to the show uh and she's always got great shit to talk about uh, she really digs into to her stories and stuff like that, and they're really heartfelt too. Regardless on the on the point of view that, that she's making on there, I mean they're they're true and heartfelt. So it's uh it's definitely something to go check out, go read, and all that good shit. Um, uh, y'all remember to check out K nine for uh, K nines for veterans, um, and uh, and all the all the great work that they do. If uh, anybody's in need of a service dog. Um, the phone numbers on their Facebook page. Um, y'all can check them out. Canine for Veterans up in uh, Chicago, Illinois. Um, really, really great group of people. Um, I should be seeing them sometime soon here in the next month. Um, Ghost should be getting his uh, pup here in probably about the next week. Or going up there to see him at least. Uh, got a little bit of training to do. But uh, there's some cool beans. And uh, we got another brother hooked up doing the application and all that. 